Hey, this is Dr. William Terry with the Conexus Clinic here to discuss the very important relationship between GLP-1 agonists like semaglutide, Ozempic, Wagovi, and resistance training. I honestly wholeheartedly believe that resistance training is the single most important activity to undertake while being treated with a GLP-1 agonist for weight loss. First, let's back up a minute to review. What is a GLP-1 agonist and what does it do to the human body? GLP-1 agonists or glucagon-like peptide 1 agonists, such as semaglutide, target the GLP-1 receptors throughout the body, including the pancreatic beta cells, the gastrointestinal tract, the brain, and potentially other locations as well. Activation of these receptors leads to several physiological effects, such as number one, pancreatic beta cells. These are the highly specialized cells in the pancreas which produce and release the life-sustaining hormone we call insulin. Insulin has its hands in a myriad of very important metabolic processes in our body, namely blood sugar control, sugar storage in the liver, fat metabolism, and protein synthesis, muscle building. GLP-1 agonists stimulate the beta cells in a positive way, which helps all of these processes. Number two, gastrointestinal tract. Semaglutide slows down gastric emptying, reducing the rate at which blood food leaves the stomach. This helps control post-meal blood sugar spikes. Number three, hypothalamus, brain. Semaglutide stimulates GLP-1 receptors in the brain's hypothalamus, which contributes to increased feelings of fullness and reduced appetite, aiding in weight management. Number four, finally, the liver. Semaglutide inhibits a process called gluconeogenesis, a mouthful, which is when the liver produces new glucose from glycogen stores. This helps to lower blood sugar levels. So by targeting all of these various receptors in these various places, GLP-1 agonists effectively contribute to improved glucose control, weight management, and overall metabolic health, making them valuable medications for individuals with type 2 diabetes and or obesity. There is even new data from a very strong clinical trial called the SELECT trial, which was just published in August 2023. The SELECT trial involved over 17,000 patients from 41 countries who were overweight, obese, with established cardiovascular disease, but no history of diabetes. This was a placebo-controlled trial, which resulted, among other things, in a 20% reduction in major adverse cardiovascular events, compared with the group that did not get semaglutide. In other words, this drug is really good for your heart compared to not taking it and being obese. This is fantastic news, which should appeal to anyone looking for a safe, healthy, sustainable weight loss solution. So we feel very good about these findings. Here at the Conexus Clinic, however, we know that simply taking the drug is not the whole story. In fact, most people who just take the drug and do not change anything about their lifestyle or their behavior, the way they eat, the way they move, they may end up looking thinner, but they actually feel terrible and they get weaker and they experience additional health problems like injury as a result. The biggest reason for this is that as the body is losing fatty weight, it actually begins to break down muscle tissue for energy as well. This is a natural metabolic process that's hardwired into all of us. However, there is a way to stop it. And here it is, resistance training. What most of you may know as lifting weights. This enters the conversation here because with all of the above changes taking place in the body, it's quite easy for an individual to lose large quantities of muscle mass. And not to sound like a broken record here, but as I stated above, decreased muscle mass leads to all sorts of problems, such as difficulty keeping the weight loss off in the future, feeling weak, and even musculoskeletal injury during activities. Dr. James DeNicolantonio, a world-renowned cardiovascular research scientist and best-selling author, emphasizes the importance of resistance training during any type of weight loss efforts for several reasons. And I'd like to go through eight of them, so get ready. Number one, preservation of muscle mass. Resistance training helps preserve and even build muscle mass while losing weight. This is important because muscle tissue is metabolically active and burns more calories at rest than fat tissue does. Preserving muscle mass can help prevent a decrease in metabolic rate during weight loss. Number two, metabolic health. Engaging in resistance training can improve insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism, which means breakdown. This can contribute to better blood sugar control and reduce risk of type two diabetes, which is great for everybody. Number three, enhanced fat loss. Combining resistance training with a calorie deficit can lead to greater fat loss while sparing lean muscle tissue. This can result in a more favorable body composition and a healthier overall appearance in the end of treatment. Number four, afterburn effect. Intense resistance training sessions can lead to an afterburn effect where the body continues to burn calories at an elevated rate even after the workout is completed. This can contribute to an increased overall caloric expenditure, bonus calories burned. 
Number five, bone health. Resistance training places stress on bones, promoting bone density and reducing the risk of osteoporosis. Number six, psychological benefits. I bet you didn't think of this. Regular exercise, including resistance training, can have positive effects on mood and mental well-being, which can be an important factor during the challenges of weight loss. Number seven, long-term weight maintenance. Building muscle through resistance training can help with maintaining weight loss over the long term by keeping metabolism higher and making it easier to sustain the results achieved. Number eight, functional fitness. Resistance training improves strength, mobility, and overall physical function, enhancing one's ability to perform daily activities and maintain an active lifestyle. Of course, any changes you're making, you gotta consult with your healthcare professional or fitness expert before starting any kind of new resistance training program. And there's a lot of ways to do it, but we have some great ways at the Connexus Clinic. and We'd love to talk to you about them. And here are some quotes from Dr. Dinah Antonio that I just love. Hard physical effort replicates the environment we're adapted for. It's like putting our bodies in their natural state. What we call being fit is what our ancestors just called being. If you don't lift weights, you age faster. Sarcopenia and muscle loss occurs at one to 2% per year after age 30. This leads to an exponentially higher risk of injury and worse metabolic health with age. Eating a high protein diet and resistance training are the best ways to fight against this. If you're over 30 and you don't have a huge belly, you're in the top 10% of fitness. If you're strength trained as well, you're in the top 5%. Sprinkle in some cardio and you're in the top 1%. Working out consistently is hard, but being overweight is harder. Eating healthy meals 80 to 90% of the time is hard. Being chronically sick is harder. You can either choose something hard to give you health or live with something harder being sick. How to get in shape the old way. Eat low fat, low calorie, and endless cardio. The new way, eat high protein, lift weights, and walk. You have no energy to work out because you don't work out. Once you start working out, your body will give you more energy. A body in motion stays in motion. Newton's law applies to human physiology as well. Every workout session you skip is another day you get less fit. Keep showing up even on days you don't want to. In three months, you'll be unrecognizable. In 10 years, you'll thank yourself. This is a long game. Stay fit for life. Who cares if you're not the biggest, strongest, or leanest person in the gym? As long as you're putting in the work, then you're winning. It is you versus you every day. You are your greatest competition. Having a six pack is cool, but being able to cut your own grass or lift your own groceries when you're older is much cooler. Fitness is a long game. Stay fit for life. Work out in the morning. That way, if life gets too busy or you're too tired after work, you've already put in the work. Prioritize your health. This is the way. Here's your bulletproof plan to lose fat and gain muscle simultaneously. Number one, lift weights three to five times per week. Number two, walk daily for 30 to 60 minutes. Number three, eat 30 to 50 grams of protein per meal. Number four, do cardio three times a week. Three months of this and you'll be unrecognizable. Weightlifting has a direct impact on your mental health. Building muscle helps strengthen the mind and relieve stress. Get into your body to get out of your mind. Lifting is the best stress reliever.